Originally known as Melbourne Gardens, Franklin's Gardens is a purpose-built rugby stadium in Northampton. The name change came when the venue was bought by successful hotelier John Franklin in 1886, who renamed them after himself the following year. Expect a close match here. Both squads stack up pretty evenly overall. Assisting with the analysis in this match is Justin Marshall. Plenty to talk about heading into this game, Justin. No doubt about that, and you can certainly feel the anticipation building. Well, there's a decent attendance here. The players will appreciate that. There's not a lot between these two teams. It could go either way, and it really depends on who wants to... Standing by for the referee's whistle to get us underway. And play begins. We're underway. The right winger snaps up the kickoff. Here's an intercept. The number 11 on a good run. The number 6 probing towards the line. Release. He's having a go at the ball. The ball there now. The number 9 shows great strength to get through that one. Well contained. I think the ball is still alive here for the Blue Tongues. They could have turned it here. The number seven picks it out of the back. And a good show of strength there to beat the tackle. So they look to try something with a maul. Now it's underway. The number eight with a pass. And he runs into some effective defence. They're getting some momentum from that phase play. And it looks like it might be a turnover. Now it's been picked up and probes the defence. The open side flanker on a long run. Turnover. Did well to create the turnover. The first 5 8 picks release. it up, has a go. Ruck is full, he has to release. The front rower not finished yet. And he's hard to take down. He's been hit hard. Crowd enjoyed that tackle. And they're a bit slow to get there, but here they come. Gets taken down in a hard tackle. Well, they had to defend valiantly for a number of phases. Here comes the chase. He's got the loose ball. Carried over the five metre line. Hasn't got much support. That's a pretty long run there. And he unleashes a good, strong punt. The number 15 anticipates well. The tackle's not enough. And they drive him into the ground. They take their time getting there. They've lost possession here. Turnover. Built some pressure. And they turn the ball over very well. That's a very flat pass. Scores! No one can stop him. They did well. Great teamwork to build that try. Yeah, he's done very well there. Breaks away and then no one could catch him. Simply too fast. No doubt about that, Justin. And there's a shot at goal to come. This should turn into an easy seven points with the conversion. There's the conversion. The blindside flanker kicks off. Kick off, drag down. And he sells the dummy. The blindside flanker loses some ground. And he's shaken up by that one. He's broken the tackle apart. Shut down with a brutal tackle. Not releasing. He's not letting go. And a penalty. He knows better than to do something like that. And now he's given away a penalty.
They'll have a shot here. The number six with the kick now, lining it up. Just manages to get the ball through the posts. And so they get off the board. Jack with the restart. The number one to secure this. The number one with the tackle. I think he's been hurt there. He's got himself a leg injury there. He has to go off the field for treatment. He may not be back. First scrum of the match. Bind. Set. There's some depth of power going on in the scrums. Both teams putting pressure on. Furious looking scrum down there. They've turned it over. Beautifully done. The ball is out. Collected by the scrum half. The number eight and gets the ball it. away. And a knock -off. Not releasing. Referee playing advantage here. Can't afford handling errors like that. The back rower will try to get some good distance on this. And into touch. They'll have a line out. <laughs> the lock drags it down nicely. That's a lovely pass. The centre puts the pedal to the metal. And he's driven back in the tackle. Great work to keep the ball alive here. Tries to fend, but is taken. Now the numbers turn up. Yeah, it's a good chance to score here. The hit takes him over the touchline. Jack takes it down. More formed. And they've got it at the back there. Short, clever pass. He has a real crack at the defensive line. The scrum half puts it into touch. So at half time, 7-3. A dogged clash here so far with no side wanting to give this game away. The close match we'd expected. Absolutely. Second half. Here's the kickoff. The number 12 waits. The second five unable to hold it. Flat pass. The halfback charging on. Moves it on. Clever dummy. Advantage Only over. 10 metres to go. Release. And the advantage is over. Amazing. That's gone dead, and I suspect they'll take the kick here. The restart at the 22. The number 13 with a good catch while airborne. Yeah, fantastic catch to secure the ball there. And they might have turned it as well. Ref says play on, turn over here. Getting players there a little more quickly and they managed to turn it over. Finds a player with a short pass. The lock puts the foot down. Still there, I think. Crikey, dick! And they get the penalty. The tackle was a bit high. He'll be looking for touch here. It's in touch. And that's a line out. Uh, uh, uh. 
Loose ball. Snapped up. Turns it back on the inside. The hooker has no answer to that tackle. The number eight picks it up. Completely fools him with the dummy. Somehow, he's managed to grab that back. Easily beats the defender. And the ball's turned over. It was good work by them leading up to that. The number 11 going hard. By crikey! They get a penalty. Will he get away with just a warning for that? They'll look for the three, this to put them further ahead. He'd be pretty happy if three points go over. It's a close match. Jack, with the kick, looking to add points. Not able to kick it over, and play continues. Such a great catch, Nisbo. Pushes through that tackle. The number 14 makes a good burst. And he's tackled into touch. Not his best throw. Keeps it moving. Pushes it on. Lovely footwork there. The centre goes off. Running hard at the Release. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. A good pass to his support player. And it's gone across the touchline. And they'll take the line out. Lost against the throw. The number 10 pushes it on. The number 8 delivers it to a runner. The right winger takes some stopping in that run. Shut down with a brutal tackle. The blindside flanker gets some speed up. Turnover. Great work at the breakdown. He gets crunched to the ground. Able to find the supporting player there. The centre tackled into touch. They'll have a line out. Makes his way back on. Nicely rested after his 10 minutes on the sideline. The second rower claims the ball. Nice work at the line out. It's got to be used now. The ball controlled at the back. Shovels it on. The number 11 stretches his legs. Not releasing. The ball's being contested. They get a penalty. Will be frustrated with themselves for giving that one away. And they'll look for touch here. The ball is in touch. The lock takes it nicely. That was a good clean line out. Flat pass. The second five brought down in a lovely tackle. The number five gets it away. The left winger goes hard. And finally taken to ground now. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. The lock with a pass. The left winger has support with him. Now taken to the ground in a good tackle. The back rower feeds it off now. That's halfway. Quick delivery. The second five keeps it going. Passes delivered inside. The number four. Having a go at the ball. Boy, he can really motor. And it comes back. Great work. The number 10 looks for support. Nice inside pass. Oh, he's lost the ball. Knock on. He's playing advantage. It was a good tackle. Goes for a run himself. And he's knocked over the line. It was a pretty decent match. And a very tight struggle too. 
Very evenly matched these teams. You can see they didn't get much time on the ball and just struggled to hold on to it really. They had a big issue with Rux in this match. They turned the ball over 